Warning, what you're about to experience is based on real paranormal events. Research of the occult has shown that heightened moments of emotion, such as fear, can encourage the manifestation of hauntings. If, after playing this game, you experience abnormal happenings around your home, or have sudden changes in the behavior of yourself or loved ones, reach out immediately to your local church and paranormal investigators. This is Grave Encounters, bitch. I'm Lance Preston. Never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. Hey, thanks, Mama. I really am. Grandma? You've come so far. I could could go either way. Man, I'm hot. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. And we try to explain things we don't understand, and we want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. Alright, enough spooky stuff. Full of liquid. All right, here we go. All right, welcome to the Mortuary Assistant, uh, a new horror game where you're a a mortuary assistant. Uh, thank God I'm here, right? Oh shit! Jesus himself saw me throw the pot on the ground. All right, I want to place a bet with everyone in the comment section. Prepare to write your comment. Uh, don't cheat, you little. I see you cheating. Scan in the video. Will this lady? Open her eyes throughout the game, this painting lady. Leave your leave your comment now. Will she or won't she? And we'll I guess we'll find out. Oh. There I am. Jessica? Rebecca? Rebecca. I don't know why developers insist on programming toilet flushing into their games. It is so useless, unless it's for a haunt or something later on. Rebecca. Jesus. Perfect. The hell is wrong with you, man? What are you doing over there, you creep? Alright, our first job. A little, I guess, a little tutorial body here. We gotta check for markings first. Write them in our little little clipboard. Uh, her face, I think that's how her face is. Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Okay. Sure, Mads Milkerson. Whatever you say, brother. This is Dorothy Page. Age, 87. I'm not far off that myself. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'll be honest here, Hannibal. I've never done this before. Uh, do I need a trocar for injecting cavity fluid directly into the organs? <laughs> what? Um, what's this? Setting needles. Of course, I need those. If anyone does this to me when I'm dead... I'm getting right back up and walking out. Please burn my body like a viking out on a boat with a bow and arrow. Whoa, my... Hmm. God. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly. And it can make them pop like that. Really? Just The, the force of that bottle okay. could have literally killed me, dude. But yeah, let's keep going. Alright, then next we drain the corpse like a juice box. Let's go wait for that to clear out you. You getting dinner later, or we're gonna we're gonna order in? Oh. I mean, this is probably about as clean as as she can. Uh, this bitch ain't dead, Mickelson. Uh. Tell you what? What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? I'll take over from here. What? I did all the work. Oh, whatever. Music band shirt. That's cute, isn't it? What's this? Death and Decay. A book about. Mac and cheese or something. Tutorial during the day. Blast us with horror at night. A classic. Who... Who the fuck puts up Halloween decorations in a mortuary? Oh, and a laughing dog. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Wait, Just what? try to stay calm. Oh shit, there is someone out there. I didn't even see him. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. What? Look, this isn't funny. Stop. There's a wallpaper, dude. Oh, turbo. Oh, 
<laughs> Good God. And, oh my God. Raymond, could we do one without that smile, please? That's... That is something else. That looks like you just picked up the minigun in Wolfenstein 3D. So let's let's do one without that. All right, let's get to work. I know I'm about to get owned. I'm about to get butt blasted by some ghosts. Oh my God, it's happening already. I just want to be a mortuary assistant, you know? Rebecca is not having a good time. Come on. This is my first body. Uh, let me just... Hello? Enjoy! Hey, that wasn't that wasn't so bad. Nope, nope. New job. No, we're not. Rebecca? Screw this. I'm getting back to work. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess you're supposed to run out or something. Eye caps. Open his eyes, slip in the eye caps. Right. That could have gone worse. They I thought they were gonna get me with a condemn. They they're gonna do something during the face part. We put the pumpkin on his Oh, Oh, oh no. Yeah, I ain't touching that no more. Let's get some fresh air in here. Never mind, there's actually demons out there. Thank God I closed the window. <laughs> yeah, this is probably the grossest part. I might not show this much for the fear of YouTube killing me. Oh no. Is it you? Ah, oh, almost had a good bet. Whoa, okay. Uh, I'll try. What's in the mirror? I mean, I get it. You have reflections. It's very impressive. Oh, the photo! Alright, he's, this guy's done. Good enough, you know? What's he gonna do? Sue me? <laughs> Up next we have... A, a clown? An actual dead clown. What, the makeup just didn't come off? Oh my... Come, come on, mortuary. So we are closed. I don't think we act. I don't think we open actually. Is a corpse gonna walk in here? What's a corpse gonna walk in here and say, "Hey, I need to be die at age 28 as a clown"? There's gotta be a good story behind that. If you guys could make up a clown-related death, you know, like clown shoes too big, he tripped onto the road and died. Indie mouse autopsies. Gone wild. Pitching a tent. In those red polka dot boxes. All right. I hate how normal she's acting about this. <sighs> well, that was just, that was horrifying. That's just a leak in the roof. Let me, let me just continue my job. Okay, you want me to... Okay, we're entering the Silent Hill Nightmare World. Oh. Uh... I don't know what to expect with this game. Uh, oh, we're back. You know what? Never mind. Forget about it. We're back on our job. Let's go do that body. Man, this this clown paint is really hard coded into the skin, isn't it? Oh, that's not that. Corpses do that from time to time. You know, Aunt Grace did that in the coffin. Scared little Timmy half to death. <laughs> Next on the chopping block. <laughs> we, we, like, we do jokes here. Um, it really is a tragedy this guy died though. He, it was, he was very young. It was a horrible accident. Okay. Open the door, corpse. I have to pump your gums. You can't get out of this. This, this was the front door. We're getting some layers of fear shit going on now. No, no thanks. Oh, okay. That's just a... Uh, like, oh, home sweet home. Look at this. It's a big clipboard. Close that. Oh, God. Am I a junkie? Is this some, like, law for Rebecca? 
I don't think she should be operating on dead bodies if she's a. I don't think she should be doing anything. What? <laughs> what the hell is Night Shift Database? This database is a collection of all my findings related to the banishment of covetous demons. There's a demon in here? I just thought dead bodies did that kind of thing. This is David. Raymond, this feels insane, but I think you were right. This has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. Hey, what is this? Quentin Tarantino film? <laughs> hey! Oh, hey, Grandma. What a day, huh? Like, I need you to go to the door. Grandma, what did we say about coming through windows, you little freak? I just wanted to visit you. Don't you miss me? Grandma, I saw you today. I bought you something. It's wrong, Rebecca. <laughs> Don't be afraid of your grandma! Oh, I'm fine. Tell you what, we're gonna ignore that, and we're actually going to summon the Doom Marine himself. <laughs> a car tripped. No one saw that. God, my wrist! I'm taking screenshots of the, the emblems so I remember them. Man. So like I mentioned at the start of the video, I, I had no idea what to expect with this game. I thought I'd just be checking these bodies and they'd throw some scares at me that would get increasingly worse and worse. Uh, but no, you actually have to do something. You have to figure some stuff out. Uh, you have to figure out which body is possessed by a demon. Some of them are pretty obvious, like uh, if they're getting up and talking to you in the devilish tongue, that's probably a demon. Uh, you have to find out all the symbols around the mortuary and then find out what order they're in. You gotta put those onto the little tablet and then you put the tablet on the body and then you burn that body and you get a different ending depending if you figure out what the demon is or not. Uh, I screwed it up multiple times but we eventually do get the, the, uh, the actual ending. But uh, yeah, here's me figuring that shit out. Oh, didn't see that guy there. That's fine. Was that polka dot boxies himself? At this point, I'm pretty sure the clown is the demon. It's the obvious choice, but I don't think they're baiting me on this one. Yeah, laugh it up, bitch. See how much you're laughing in in hell. Hey guys, post mouse here, real quick. I got the right body. The demon was indeed the clown, but I forgot to put the tablet on him, so it didn't count. Uh, I forgot about that. Well, I didn't forget. I just had no idea what I was doing. Oh my god! Is this good? This doesn't seem good. Did I screw it up? If that clown wasn't the demon... There he is! Of course he is! Oh! You seem out of it. Oh, I've just been waiting... ...for so... ...so long. What? What are you... Oh no. You didn't use the mark. Rebecca. Rebecca's not here, you fucking <laughs> idiot! I will consume the worthless soul, watch your foolish spoil, and drink it as nuts from the pit of a frame! Subject G-Man from the Half-Life franchise has... he's died. This is all your fault. I regret every second with you. Time is running out, Rebecca. You did this to me. It's Apparently we fault. killed the G-Man. Oh, what the heck is not her again? Whoa! Yeah, okay. I think this guy might be the devil. How do I turn him off? Not that- not that he's- he's turned on. Okay, you know what, never mind. Just scrap- Whatever this job's paying, it's not enough. What the heck? I keep getting pulled off. Just give in the familiar voice. Be 
be more comforting. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me go, Rebecca. How's a rock to the face? <laughs> Did I get really high and then beat my husband to death? Is that Rebecca's backstory? You're wrong, you know. See, that's what a demon would tell me. Are you sure this is the right one? Now I'm. Now I'm not sure. Thanks for that, demon. I need an endless corridor counter just for Shocktober. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make one of those. Don't make one of those. Oh, God has left you. I already knew that. I knew that a long time ago. That's fine. Oh, this way. Okay. God, that thing is awful. I love it. <laughs> Whatever it is, I love it. Damn it, Raymond! I screwed up again. guy's the best name I've ever seen. <laughs> Tony, it's Tony Pizza. Ah, <laughs> uh, excuse me Tony Pizza. Can you take a step away from yourself please? Let me, you little bitch! Grandma! Holy shit, I didn't see that! Look, leave the Gary's Mod ragdoll bit to me, okay, game? That was fu that was funny. I cannot get this body wrong again. Is this the one, lady? You gotta tell me. If you're a demon, you have to tell me. It's like a police officer. Maybe it's Tony Pizza. Oh, holy shit, it's him! He's got the symbol on him. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. You're going into the furnace. Bye-bye, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> what do you mean? Can I leave? I want to go home. You can leave. But once an entity finds you, all the houses of hell will do anything to get back to you. I'm sorry, but it doesn't end here. From now on, there is always a chance this will happen again. No matter where you are. I don't want this. I just want to leave. What do I do? I'm sorry, but there's no going back. <sighs> You're the first person I've met to face this hell and survive. So I'm offering you a different kind of job. Work the night shift. Learn what I know. Give yourself a chance at a life beyond fear. I don't know what you experienced, but I know it uses the worst parts of you against yourself. The more you experience, the more you'll confront the darkest parts of your life. But through it, you'll become unbreakable. I'm offering the tools to take control. The choice is yours. I hope you come back. This has been the Mortuary Assistant. There are a few more endings. I looked them up. There's a couple more cutscenes at the end. Nothing too interesting, I don't think. Not interesting enough for me to keep replaying through that game, that gameplay loop. Pretty spooky though, I really enjoyed that. Uh, we have one more Shocktober video left, a big one next uh, next week. Thank you for the support. See you next week, baby.